This is a beautiful event, and of course we are gathered here at an auspicious time. The year 2017 marks the 40th anniversary of President Sadat's historic speech to the Knesset. And when the sun rises on 2018, it'll mark the 40th anniversary of the historic Camp David Accords. Looking back on his life, President Sadat's commitment to peace stands above the strife he tried to eradicate. The principle for which he stood can just as easily be described as what he sought to prevent. In fact, during his meeting with Prime Minister Menachem Begin at Beersheba in May 1971, President Sadat professed that there will be no barriers between our peoples, no more anxiety or insecurity, no more, no more suffering or suspicion. Of course, it's hard to encapsulate all of the good he sought to do and the bad he sought to eliminate in just a few words. I know that for me, his caution to treat people with dignity and to build bridges of understanding instead of walls to keep people out was and should be every public servant's North Star. I believe that my colleagues in the House and those in the Senate recognize this and that is why there is momentum to honor President Anwar Sadat. I'm honored to be a part of that cause and I commend the Commission for its diligence in ensuring President Anwar Sadat posthumously receives the Congressional Gold Medal. I want to also tell everyone how distant that peace may seem to be at this point in time, especially reflecting back on the hopeful times of uh, the agreement at Camp David, uh, including uh, President Carter, uh, President uh, Menachem Begin, and uh, Anwar Sadat. Uh, things were so hopeful then, and so much has happened to muck it up, but still, uh, the light of peace uh, still shines, and it's up to us to remove the muck and to let that light, light shine brightly. I pledge as a member of Congress and even as a private citizen when I return uh, to always be working for peace. And peace in the Middle East, I, I think, represents peace for humanity. If we can solve that issue, if we can bring peace to the Middle East, then we can bring peace anywhere in the world. So thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Continue your, your work.